Trinity Thomas now on floor. Let's go to Sam. Yeah, at the team meeting yesterday, Trinity Thomas told everyone that they need to pretend like they're walking upstairs. Because when you walk upstairs, you don't look back. You have to focus on one step at a time, no matter what. With all of this energy, what a perfect message heading into her floor team. Four times last year, perfect tens on floor. And she has been set up perfectly by Leanne Wong with a 9975 because Trinity can do one of the most outstanding floor routines. And it all starts with this pass right here, the best in NCAA gymnastics, maybe even in the world, a double layout that is unrivaled. Hard to believe you can be so high and so powerful and yet land with such finesse. And watch the amplitude on her leaps. Wow. So on bars, Trinity Thomas set up Leanne Wong for a 10. Could it be a returned favor here? Leanne Wong with a 9975 and Trinity Thomas on fire. Could this be her 10? Combination pass by full front oh. layout. Just gorgeous elevation, control as always. And her famous butterfly into this gorgeous pose and a strong, dynamic finish. Okay. What a finale. What? And that's just their fifth performer. Morgan Hurd will be the final floor performer. After the 9975 from Leanne Wong, the crowd wants a 10. Boy, each routine has just built on the previous. Look at the rise. Oh, my. Goes even higher on the second somersault. That is just otherworldly. And it's so hard to keep good form on that double layout. Their floor choreographer, Jeremy, just came over, looked me in the eye, and said, tell Kathy she held her ending pose. <laughs> <laughs> Message specifically to you. Oh. So as He's we wait for the score for Trinity Thomas, perfect 10 last week for Sunisa Leon Beam, and she, of course, anchor performer for Auburn on Beam. And, and the score is in for Trinity Thomas. It's a perfect 10. <laughs>